I do not know why it is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit. It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? And yet, it feels familiar. As though pulled from a corner of my memory. From a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. Hello, Professor. I know that look in your eye. You want to ask me a favor. You want me to help out with your class, right? You just say the word, and I'll help however I can. Don't worry about it. You're just starting out as a teacher, right? It's only natural for those of us with more experience to help the younger generation. Did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. I guess that would make sense. He is the Minister of Military Affairs, after all. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. some mighty fish just you wait and see I didn't catch a single fish last month but this month oh this month <laughs> that's exactly what Captain Gerald said you're going with the captain to investigate Ramire village soon aren't you it feels like so long ago that you two came here That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. What? Ah, oh, come on, don't tease me. But what if it really was something like that? How could we hope to stop it? 
Hey, Professor, can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best, but now I can't even stand looking at them. <gasps> Good point, Professor. I think I need to see other meats right now. Then I can come back to fish when I'm good and ready. They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envision for yourself? Your character must be stronger than most. Hey. When news reached us of the disturbance, ours was the first unit dispatched to Remire. We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty, I was scared witless the entire time. For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumor suggested. And rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. Investigating Ramire Village? Be on your guard. You know, Professor, the tournament fish, and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? <laughs> Hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? <laughs> You know, Professor, the tournament fish, and the meal we enjoy all- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look. I have a request. <laughs> hmm. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh! Except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. Hello there. This one, yes? I think this one, yes? I this one yes. I this one yes. I this one yes. I think this one yes. I think this one yes. I thank you. This one yes. I think this one yes. I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good a you have a good up a you have a good up a you have a good up a pleasure you have a good up a pleasure you have a good up a pleasure you have a good eye a you have a good up a pleasure you have a good eye a you have a good up a pleasure you have a good eye a pleasure doing come again They say, after all, how about you? I appreciate it. I appreciate I appreciate I appreciate I appreciate 
I appreciate. I appreciate. Thank you for that. I appreciate. 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 Thank you for that. I appreciate. Interesting choice. Thank you for that. I appreciate. The four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, oh, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. Hey you, do me a favor. for a challenge. Professor. Professor, you seem unwell. How are you faring? If you're not feeling well, I'd strongly recommend some rest. Let me consider. Professor, tell me. Is this about Ramaya? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet... The underlying cause is as yet unclear. And the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? In that case, we should strengthen the guards. If you visit the village, Professor, please take care. <laughs> Professor, what have you got there? That's... my goodness, that is just what I've been looking for. I can offer nothing more than this, but I do ask that you consider trading with me. I am in your debt, Professor. I thought if only... Professor, I've been watching your class activities, and I wondered if you might desire my help. Just say the word, and I'll pitch in. Of course, I have to be truthful. It's all just a ploy to make it easier to research your crest. Feel free to call on me anytime. I'll be happy to lend a hand. And then you can help out with my class, too. <laughs> it's a joke, Professor. I'd never put a burden on you, a first-year teacher. Okay. 
Okay. I heard about Ramayur village from some of the knights. It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, we at Garrick Mock should be on the lookout as well. Oh? Well, that's better. But I wonder what the real cause could be. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor. Even if they're not exactly based on anything. Yes? I'm actually very... Get it. Ramire Village is an Empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? The story goes that it was in Ramire Village that Alois found you. I am so happy to be part of your class, Professor. I honestly cannot recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this. It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Oh, I mean very. Very, very, very long ago. about these days and just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed Ugh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to he better come back soon <laughs> ah professor the battle of the eagle and lion was such good fun don't you think Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, come on, let me gush. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. first time working with THE Geralt, the legend known across the ages as the Bladebreaker. And I get to see him with my own eyes. That means I have to try my absolute hardest. <sighs> Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Hey, it's not like I'm bothering her. Sorry for the ruckus, Professor. Please don't worry about it too much. Nothing to worry about here. Uh, I wish you would worry about it a little more. Need some... I wish... Hey, it, please don't... Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. How are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Just my natural talent. Nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down.
Well... Hmm. During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come, stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? Watch your step on that journey. May the Goddess protect all of you. of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. What is it? I am in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. I have something to ask of you. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? Please, visit a doctor before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option. Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance, as Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep on the floor. I could use your help. give you this in return. Fantastic! Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this Have my thanks. I 
fear I may become a social recluse soon. My life consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room, eh? That would be me if you weren't my teacher. Locked away in my room, reading, napping, never to be seen. You know, I never see Bernadetta outside of class. I wonder what it is that she does in her room all day. <sighs> What in the world is happening in Remire Village? I hear even the knights have been dispatched. I hope it's nothing too serious. After all, that's where we first met. I have valued memories of the place. Meyer Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Farkas. It even hit the capital city, taking the queen consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Hey, you. Hey, you. Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey, it worked out perfectly. Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor. This is great. Professor, Captain Gerald just told me. Remire Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? You should get some rest. Hmm. If you must go to the village, make sure you're in good health before we depart. The knights go out from Garrig Mach to take on all kinds of other duties. I'd sure like a job like that one day. Then again, I don't know. Serving Lady Rhea here is pretty good. wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. This month's assignment will again take you outside of Garrick Mock, to Remire Village. It was in Remire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes.
professor? What's that you've got there? Would you mind trading it with me for this? Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great care of it. Well, um, Professor, it's about that thing you have there. If it's not too much of a bother, would you trade it for this? Thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. That's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. You brought it, Professor? Hand it over and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me? I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Seems the professor likes you better than me. Thanks. Here's your prize. Maybe I'll let you borrow it later, Shamir. I knew I could count on you. It was in half a year. I appreciate it. Impressive. Thanks. Got through that without trouble. My efforts were not in vain. Ah, it's clear to me now. I'd never have learned this back in my room. Am I starting to master this? It all makes sense now. Guess I'm still growing. I think I've got the hang of it. Not as hard as I thought. Well worth the effort. <laughs> 